We return now to our top story, the Democratic Party's big victories last night and the message voters sent to Washington. I spoke with Tom Perez, the chairman of the Democratic National Committee, about this earlier today and what led to the party's success. Well, I think we we're making real progress, Judy. We had a, a very good night last night. We put our, our game plan into action. Our game plan is organizing, 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 make sure we come together with our unity. We saw that in Virginia, where you had a spirited Democratic primary, where everyone took the high road. We had great turnout in the primary, and that was a bellwether of a general election with record turnout. And same thing in New Jersey, Phil Murphy, uh, and when we lead with our values and we put those values into action, whether it's health care for all, that was a big issue in Virginia and New Jersey. Right. Talking about uh, education reform, that was another big issue in those areas. When we're leading with our values and when we're out there talking to everyone and when we're running people up and down the ballot, that was critically important. In Virginia, they Democrats have not won as many seats as they won last night. The last time that happened was in the 19th century. That's a real bellwether of the wave that occurred last night in Virginia. That's true, all true, but you still have uh, Republicans in the majority of governor's seats, uh, control of the House, the Senate, and the White House. Democrats still have a big hill to climb. Oh, I couldn't agree more. I mean, we the, the, last night was a really remarkable start, but it's a start. We're nowhere near the summit of the mountain, but what we know is what works. We had to get back to basics organizing, organizing everywhere, recruiting good candidates up and down the ticket. The new mission of the DNC is to help elect Democrats up and down the ticket from the school board to the Oval Office. We were too focused on simply electing a president every four years. We've changed that mission, and we're making sure we are invested everywhere. Let me ask you about your message, because some are saying still the Democratic message is too much anti-Donald Trump and not enough something positive. Well, I, I tell you, the, the candidates that were running yesterday were talking about the issues that people cared about the most. Ralph Northam is a healer, uh, the, the governor-elect of Virginia. He was talking about health care as a right for all and not a privilege for a few. And as it turned out, the number one issue for voters in Virginia was health care. They, they understand that Ralph Northam is going to help them expand Medicaid and not take away their access to health care. Same thing in New Jersey, real concerns on that area. What is your advice, Tom Perezzo, for Democrats running next year? Because we know right now, for example, you've got Democrats in the Senate who are talking to President Trump. There was a meeting just yesterday uh, and his people about tax reform. Should Democrats, especially Democrats in red states, states that Donald Trump won, should they try to work with this president to get things done, or should they oppose him at every step? Well, listen, if, if we can work in a bipartisan fashion, uh, we've always been for that. We, we were, you know, the Affordable Care Act is a great example. Patty Murray and Lamar Alexander right now are working on a bipartisan uh, bill to stabilize the markets. What the Republicans have been trying to do is just uh, repeal with nothing else. You, we need to mend Obamacare, not end it. And the voters in, uh, in Virginia especially sent a very clear message to the Republicans that uh, when you try to take away our health care, we're going to vote against you. And so when when we can find common ground, we try, but this, the current tax bill that has been put forth is not reform. It's, it's a massive giveaway to very, very wealthy people and corporations at the expense of middle class families and, uh, and working people. And, so are and you it's, saying it's not Democrats a good bill. should not work with the administration to try to shape that at all or what? Oh, we have a, we, no, Judy, I'm, I'm saying quite the contrary. We, we have a vision for helping to bring about uh, a, a tax fairness. This is not tax reform, though. The challenge that we have, Judy, is the Republicans don't want to work with us. Th this bill is a disaster uh, for me... so many millions of Americans, and they're just trying to ram it through before people can actually see the fine print. Let me finally ask you, what is the Democratic Party's message to voters in red states, voters who voted for Donald Trump? Are you, are you, have you, I assume you're going to say you're not writing them off. What is your message oh, uh, to them? Our, to get our, to, to uh, Judy, our, our motto of the new DNC is every zip code counts. We can win everywhere. We won three special elections in Oklahoma earlier this year in the state legislature. And how did we do that? 
We had great candidates. We delivered a clear message. In Oklahoma, the message was education. Education is the great equalizer. And in Oklahoma, they're engaged in radical right-wing engineering to make public education uh, a shell of what it needs to be. And then boots on the ground. We're competing everywhere, because I believe that the message of healthcare is a right for all and not a privilege for a few. It resonates in rural America. It resonates in urban America. It resonates in, in uh, Kentucky. It resonates resonates in uh, New York City. And, and when we lead with those values, we're fighting for economic opportunity for everyone. We believe in shared prosperity for everyone, not simply prosperity for a few at the top. And, and we believe in the bold possibilities of this nation. And we want to make sure everybody has the tools to realize their highest and best dreams. We want an America that people can be proud of. Right now, people aren't proud of what they see this president do day in and day out. He's a divider. He's not a uniter. And I think the voters spoke very loudly and clearly about that yesterday. We want uniters. Tom Perez, the chairman of the Democratic Party, thank you very much. Pleasure to be with you, Judy.